Leonardo da Vinci, ancient Rome, gelato, and iconic vehicles. Just some of the amazing things to come out of Italy. Basta <sighs> cosi! The steering's gone again. Let's get this into the workshop and I'll show you how to get this steering column out of here. Let me guess, your Fiat 500 has lost power steering and is surprisingly heavy to turn. The fault code C1002 steering column motor torque sensor has appeared and you're realising that it means your electric power steering unit has failed and you need to remove the whole column and get it replaced. Well, instead of buying an expensive new replacement from the dealer, we will offer you a better solution. A rebuild of your own unit without the need for coding once you receive it back. But first, let me show you how to get this steering column out of the car. Step one, remove the battery. This is a very important step as we will be dealing with airbag removal. Step two, if you have a knee airbag installed, this needs to be removed. Unscrew the two Phillips head screws underneath the knee airbag and pull it out. Disconnect the airbag power clip and set it aside. Step three, remove the steering column cowling. There are two Phillips head screws located on the bottom of the cowling. Remove these and then use a pry tool to release the bottom cowling. Now remove two more screws underneath the steering wheel and remove the top cowling. Step four, airbag removal. Behind the steering wheel and depending on which steering wheel you have installed, you will see two or three holes around the neck. These holes are the locations of the spring securing clips for the airbag. Use a small flat head screwdriver to release the clips. This might take some trial and error locating the clips and you may have to slightly prise away the front fascia with your other hand as you do this to ensure they have released correctly. Once done, carefully tip the airbag forward and away from the steering wheel. Disconnect the connector clips with your screwdriver and these are colour coded so you shouldn't need to make a note of how they go back together. Put this to one side for later. Step 5 is the steering wheel removal. By now you will be able to see the steering wheel control cable. Unclip this. Under here is the main 24mm hex nut that is the main fixing for the steering wheel. At this stage, and to make your life easier when fitting, make sure that your wheels and steering wheel are straight and make a mark on the column and the steering wheel backplate to ensure that you have a perfectly straight wheel when you refit. Once marked, unbolt the hex nut and remove the steering wheel. These wires will easily slip through the backing plate as you do so. Step 6. Removing the clock spring. Start by disconnecting all the connector clips at the front and top of the clock spring. There is a 5mm hex which holds the clock spring to the steering column. Remove this, then prise it off, making sure to disconnect any further connectors. The final step, removing the steering column. Remove all the remaining connectors still attached to the steering column. Then locate and remove the four hex bolts which hold the steering column in place. There should be two at the front of the rack and two at the rear. Once these are removed, locate the securing bolt that connects the column to the intermediate steering shaft coupling and remove. Once this is done, the column should be free to be removed. Although in some vehicles, you may need to remove the plastic support bridge directly underneath the column. Now that the hard part is done, it's time for the easy bit. Send your unit into us where we can test and rebuild your unit in just a few days. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and we'll do our best to help you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Now, I think it's time for an espresso and a slice of panforte.